What's up, Schwartz Force? Welcome back to the channel. Um, here we are. <laughs> I didn't think I'd be here. Now, before, wait, 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 wait. Before you click the thumbs down, before you unsubscribe or leave some nasty comments, because I'm reviewing a watch from Filippo Loretti today, I want you to hear me out. I got a lot of explaining to do, some transparency to obviously be uh, thorough about, and then explain how this came to be, why I decided to accept reviewing a Filippo Loretti watch from the company. And actually bought one <laughs> so you know you see the paid promotion link because I received a watch from them but I have a little bit more to say about that so it's not what you think I promise it is not what you think I at least hope you guys will give me um, some kudos for taking a chance and just kind of seeing what it's all about okay now if you're only here for the watch review as you can see in the title it is the Venice automatic so if you're only here for the review go ahead and skip to this time frame you can just jump right into it. But for the rest of you guys, my Schwartz Force, my followers, my fans, thank you so much for even just hearing me out. So here's, here's what happened. Filippo already reached out to me via email, and I'm gonna try and go fast and give you the whole, the whole scoop. Basically said, hey, we saw your videos, you're a watch enthusiast, we like your content, we wanna send you a watch to review. Okay, cool. Um, I really hadn't known anything about the brand. I had heard a lot of negative things from other watch channels, especially some larger channels. And so I said, you know, I don't know if I if I should do this like I don't know if I'm gonna like, get backlash for it because it's seen as a fashion watch brand you know um, based out of Lithuania watches made in Asia and then it has kind of an Italian feel to it so I was like I don't know how this is gonna go over but I went to the website I actually looked at their watch lineup and I gotta say I I like their watches their watch designs Unlike Movement or Daniel Wellington, I don't really care for the minimalist look, but these watches that they have look a little more substantial. Um, like you at least get a little more bang for buck with them. I looked at the different options, some of the materials, and I basically came back to her and said, hey, yeah, I had a couple of, like, of the watches that are in your site that I'm interested in reviewing. Tell me a little bit more, how does this work as far as you know, doing a collaboration? So she said, well, what we'd like to do is send you a watch. We have a list, um, a link I'm gonna send you of watches for our men's influencer lineup and they're popular amongst buyers. So we wanted to send you one of these. And then we'll also add you to our affiliate program, which means you'll get a percentage of all sales that come through your, your channel or your links. I'm like, all right, um, I'm kind of hesitant to do that because I don't want it to come across as me just being another YouTuber pushing watches that you know i'm just getting a free watch out of it right the free watch is why you're seeing the paid promotion however i gave up the affiliate status or partnership i told Filippo already look by doing so i'd like to pick a watch that's off of your influencer list i want to review a watch i like that i think my viewers will also like caught my eye i think it will for you guys too the watch i'm talking about is the Florence matte black. It's sapphire crystal, automatic movement. It's a Miyota. And it's just, I was like, hey, this is a watch that I would actually buy and wear myself. A little more expensive at the retail price, full price. I think it was like $379, but they have discounts, coupons. So you could probably get it for a lot less. And so I told her, this is the one I'm interested in. <laughs> she came back and said, can't do it because it's a limited edition. It may not be available by the time someone sees your review down the road, which I understand some YouTube videos gain popularity or visibility later. Um, and I told her, well, look, I'm really interested in this watch. I think my guys being watch enthusiasts are also going to be interested in this one. Are you sure? Like you can't send it. And she came back and said, no, but we can send you this other model that is an automatic. It's called the Venice automatic. And I'll put a picture here and it's a little more expensive, like $479, I think. And um, I was like, you know, it's got a better movement. Again, all the materials are, are what you would expect at this kind of price range. So I said, all right, let's do it. Let's take a look at the Venice Automatic, send it over, and I'll do my review. But you guys know I don't like being told no. So I went digging on the interwebs and I found the Filippo Loretti Florence in matte black and I picked it up. So even though it says paid promotion, I paid for this watch myself. Now I got a damn good deal on it. So I'm not worried about if I don't end up keeping it, I want to sell it. I can for sure break even. I can definitely flip it and make a profit for the price I got this watch at. But I picked one up because I really wanted to review it. I was, I was like, hey, like I want to review it. Now it's on my radar. Let's take a look. So the Filippo Loretti Florence matte black, I will do a review on that 
in the future, but I wanted to show you at least I got it, I paid for it, it's here. But real quick, in case you're new to the channel and you're still sticking with me through this point, my name's Dave, may the Schwartz be with you. Hey, did you know, it's a great day to wear a watch. Today I have on my Undone custom made, this is the American Society for Civil Engineers watch I picked up on eBay, like the red ties in with my little get up here. Without further ado, let's take a look. All right, let's get into the review of the Filippo Loretti Venice Automatic. Now, this wouldn't be a Schwartz Force review without the yoga hand, so <laughs> thumbs up for yoga hands. You guys know what's up. Now, this is the box that the watch arrived in, and the reason I'm showing you this is because I know for the price point, again, this watch is on the website, $449 before any discounts or savings. I know some people are gonna be like, oh, that's how the box came, or that's all you got, um, but I wanted to show you this, okay. It does have that little sleeve, and then of course we have our pamphlet, our little packet here, and this just talks about, you know, welcome, the instructions, and a little cleaning cloth, so very basic. Um, just wanted to show you what the watch comes with and then just very simple you open it up it's on a little pillow there and the watch is ready to go so nothing real fancy um, some people may be expecting more for the price but I will say it really just depends on the watch company so here so case in point glycine so this is Swiss made and the it's actually more expensive than the Filippo Loretti and the box is a little bit larger, but again, same thing. You just open it up, it's on a pillow, and that's how the watch comes. So I don't want you to feel like, you know, there are examples of watches that are cheaper that have nicer boxes. I guess it's just all depends what the company wants to put, you know, more cost into. So just something I wanted to share with you. Now, this particular version of the Filippo Loretti Venice Automatic is in gray. So as you can see here, it's all grayed out, it's on a gray leather strap. So there are other color options between the dial as well as case material. So you could get some in rose gold, uh, black PVD, but this particular one is in stainless steel. Now the case is solid 316L stainless steel. It does have a 42 millimeter case, as you can see here. Now, if we include the crown with that cabochon, it's putting us right at 46.4. The lug to lug height is something I wanna really point out because the lug to lug height on this watch is right at 50 and a half millimeters. And that's important to take note of because the way that this is gonna sit on your wrist will depend more so, not so much on the 42 millimeter, but rather on that lug to lug distance. And so you can see how this sits on my seven inch wrist. You just wanna be aware of, so that's something worth pointing out that it is a rather tall watch. As long as you don't have overhang on your wrist, the strap is gonna come down nicely. Now case thickness with this flat sapphire crystal is gonna put us just under 12 and a half millimeters. And then we see here we have a lug width of 20 millimeters and that is the width of this gray Italian leather strap. I will say this Italian leather strap is really nice. Um, the quality of it just feels great and it was very easy to break in. It's padded at the lugs and then tapers down as you can see here. Now the strap itself does taper down to 18 millimeters, which is where you're gonna see this branded double deployant butterfly clasp, and that is in solid stainless steel as well. So definitely an upgraded buckle and clasp that it comes with right out the box. Really nice, so you don't have to buy that aftermarket. Uh, the other option on this watch that I could have chosen was a mesh bracelet, but I particularly like leather for this kind of dressier look. That's just my personal preference, but you can get this with a mesh bracelet as well. Now, one other thing to note about the leather strap before we move on is that it does have quick release spring bars, as you can see here. So it just makes it easier to swap the strap out if you choose to do so. And then the leather also has this same colored stitching. So that is also in that gray color. Looks really nice in my opinion. Now this watch does have a flat sapphire crystal. I have my diamond selector here. Let's go ahead and test it out. Yep, so we are looking at true sapphire on this watch at this price point, which is what you would wanna see. You definitely would not want to have a mineral or hard lex crystal, anything like that on this price point. Now it does have 50 meters of water resistance. So that is one thing you wanna be aware of. It's not a dive watch, it's a dress watch, it's on leather. I'm okay with the 50 meters water resistance, so you're getting at least some peace of mind there with regard to you know 
hand washing and things like that. Just obviously don't go swimming at this watch and you'll be fine. Now I want to spend a good minute talking about the movement of this watch and you can see on the dial here there's a lot going on. It is a busy dial, busy watch with a lot of complication. Now when I started to research the Miyota 9100, I came across a website, a blog to watch, and I was reading through it and found out that that movement is designed to compete with the Swiss ETA 2824. So they have different um, versions of the 9100 Miyota. The thing about this particular model that Filippo Loretti is using is it's a little more complex, which is I guess more rare for Japanese movements like this. So just to kind of go into it a little bit more, the average accuracy of the 9100 is on average between minus 10 to plus 30 seconds per day. Now this has been regulated because I'm getting much better accuracy than that. Um, and we'll get into that. We'll put it on the time graph for you here in a second. It is vibrating at 28,800 vibrations per hour. It has 26 joules and there's a 40 hour power reserve, which you can see this also has a power reserve indicator, which is really cool. Um, that's something that I wasn't expecting. So when I saw that they included all of these on this watch, I think it was a great movement that they picked to use for this particular design. You know, it doesn't have a moon phase, but it does have day night indicator at six o'clock. And then you'll see we have a day complication, day of week and a month complication. So diving a little bit more into the watch movement, it is automatic and the movement does hack the second hand. So when you have it in position two, that will stop the second hand, which is nice. It does have a quick date setting. And one thing that I was really impressed with to see was that the date, when you get to the 31st, it will actually advance to the next month. So that's something that I was like, wow, I don't own any other watches that do that. They're always usually, like the pusher will still advance the month, but you had to manually change the month after the date of the 31st. And that's not the case with this Miyota 9100. So I think you're getting great value there. It would have been awesome to see, obviously a moon phase complication, but you know, at this price point, it's just not gonna happen. Now I wanna talk a little bit about the design of this watch and why I like it so much. So let's take a look at the crown first. And that crown you can see sticks out quite a bit, has very pronounced coin edge there. And then you can see this cabochon. Now the cabochon is, um, I tried asking my point of contact with Filippo Loretti what the cabochon is made out of. You know, is it plastic? Is it glass? Is it agate? I'm really not sure. Um, she was gonna look into it and get back to me, but I hadn't heard back from her and I figured, you know, I'll, I'll update it in the future. For now, I just wanted to get the review you know, completed. And so I can't tell you exactly what it's made out of, but I think it's a nice touch to put on this type of dressier watch. I think it looks good. So design wise, I like to see that. Um, it is a screw down crown, as I mentioned, so that's nice. And then of course, you'll see popping it into position one and then position two, very easy to actuate. Now, since we're talking about the crown, let me just go ahead and show you, since this is automatic, but also hand winding, you have your power reserve indicator here, just under 12 o'clock. You'll see that it's split into four sections there. So because it's a 40 hour power reserve, it's pretty much in increments of 10. And you'll see as we hand wind it here, how it goes along the way, 10 hours, probably 15, 20 hours. And so you'll see this to give you an idea of how wound the watch is. And man, having a power reserve indicator is really cool. I don't own any other watches that have power reserve indication. Just a cool complication for the sake of complication. You know, it looks good. And yeah, well, at least let you know if you need to wind your watch or not. So what I'd like to do is show you the finishing on the lugs and how it connects to the case because you can see those creases there. The quality of the finishing is good. It's obviously not like, you know, high-end luxury watch in terms of the finishing, but it's really nice. And then while we're back here, let's just go ahead and take a look at the case back. So this is the Basilica de San Marco, St. Mark, and then this is of course in Venice, hence the name of the watch. So the engraving on it is fairly deep and I like how there's almost like a sandblasted finish in the background and then you can see how it plays with the light, but very intricate kind of design in the case back. You can see the little miniature Phillips screws there that hold the case back down. That's just a really nice detailed case back. So I think it's pretty cool that they did that instead of just an exhibition case back. Next, we're gonna talk about that flat sapphire crystal. It's completely flat, no, pretty much zero distortion, just very clear. You can see all the way through it. Uh, as far as I'm aware, there's not any anti-reflective coating on this watch. 
but I think that looks good. Just a nice flat crystal. And of course, because the diameter is 42 millimeter, it's almost all dial. You have a very thin bezel. Now the finishing on this dial is a sunburst dial in this gray, kind of like a slate gray color. So you can see that playing with the light. And then you'll notice that the chapter ring is also sunburst, but it is raised. And so it kind of slopes down at this angle, plays with the light there. And you'll notice that there are these channels that are kind of dug into it where the hour markers, which are simple stick indices, are applied along the dial chapter ring as well. And then you see these concentric circular patterns at the three and nine o'clock sub dials. That's where we have our month indication on the right and then day of week on the left. And then of course, right above six o'clock, you're gonna see our 24 hour indicator or day night indicator. So you have your sun and moon. One thing I like is that it has this very intricate wave pattern that's engraved into this bottom section almost looks like a sh like a seashell kind of so there's a matte finish on that dial and then the moon as well as the sun and the stars are all done in high polish very reflective it just looks really cool in person now all of the hands on the dial are these alpha hand shape except for the second hand which you can see is just a very thin needle shape there's no loom that's applied on the watch anywhere. It is a dress watch, so there's no loom. And then lastly, I wanted to point out along the chapter ring are all of these applied dot indices at each minute. Now you'll notice that the dots in increments of five are a little bit larger, and then all the other minutes are just slightly smaller in size. And we do have a satin finish or brushed ray hot there along the edge. So it's a little more muted as far as bouncing the light and reflection on the ray hot so one of the other things i want to point out is this date wheel is matching the dial color again that's just a little more attention to detail at this price point so a lot of other watches depending on what you're spending you usually get just a simple white date wheel but get a slightly upgraded date wheel that matches the dial color so good job Filippo already for taking care of that as well kind of fades into the dial a little bit easier but it still has the date there Lastly, I just wanna show you the function of the crown and then I'll put it on the time graph so we can see what kind of accuracy we're getting here. Now, when we're in position one, you'll see if we turn counterclockwise, which is towards us, that's gonna advance the day of week. This is nice because a lot of other watches, you have to go all the way through the 12 hours with the hour hand to get to the next day of week. Here we have quick day of week change. And then when we go on the right, that's gonna be your day of month and you see how it just clicks into place falls in nicely, same with the day of week. So pretty cool that in position one, you can change both of those. Now, when we go out to position two, again, we hack the second hand. Now, as we advance the minute and hour hands, you'll see the 12 hour indicator is rotating there. So now we're in the evening with the stars, sun is, the moon is starting to come up. And then you'll notice the, so first we're gonna look at the day of month change and then the day of week change. So here we are at 11 can see it's just starting to advance slightly so right before midnight it pops over and then let's take a look for the day of week we are on Sunday just after midnight one o'clock okay so at about 2 15 it pops over to the next day let's go ahead and get this on the time graph and see what kind of accuracy we're dealing with all right guys, so here we go. I've had this running for just a few minutes and you can see the accuracy we're working with is from plus one to plus two seconds per day. Amplitude of 271, a 0.1 millisecond beat error, 28,800 vibrations per hour. I'm blown away with such great accuracy out of this watch movement. And I think that, you know, this is kind of changing my view on Filippo Loretti watches, at least the automatic. What do you guys think? Uh, thumbs up for that kind of accuracy? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> There's my review of the Venice automatic from Filippo Loretti in this gray color with the gray leather strap. Let me know what you guys think down below. Again, I don't get any commission for any sales, but the point of contact I have with Filippo Loretti did say you can use the coupon code VMSM15 That'll save you 15% off any purchases that are $60 or higher. So you can definitely get 15% off if you decide to pick one of these up. I think they probably have some sales coming up too, being that Black Friday's around the corner. We've got holidays here coming up in December. So check them out. But let me know what you guys think on this watch. I know for me, I was curious. I'm glad that I decided to have them send the watch in because this thing, in my opinion, is a winner. 
the price is probably the biggest hurdle for some people to get over. But if you can find a good deal on these, either new or used, I highly recommend it. Accuracy is great. The material, the features are great. The movement is great. So did this video at all change your opinion about Filippo Loretti in terms of the watch? Again, I didn't want to get into all of the, um, the branding, their marketing. I just wanted to go specifically based on how is the watch. What do you guys think? Let me know. I always look forward to your comments. And as always, if you haven't subscribed, join the Schwartz for us. I'd love to have you be part of the team. Thank you for all the support. And I will look forward to seeing you guys at the next one. Until then, may the Schwartz be with you. Take care.